Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about coffee and whether or not it's good for you or not. Now, I've never been a coffee drinker. I don't think I've ever had a full cup of coffee in my entire life. My mother was a really big coffee drinker and a lot of other people uh, in my family drank a lot of coffee and I just I never cared about it, like I could care less. It didn't really taste that great to me. Now it smells really good. I always loved the smell of coffee and I loved coffee flavored things like ice cream and stuff like that and mocha, like the chocolate and coffee together. I, I always loved that, but I just was never a coffee drink. I just didn't care about it. And I also thought it wasn't really good for you until recently. Now I just started doing research on coffee and its health benefits. And I'm the type of person that I would lick the bottom of a taxi cab if it was healthy. <laughs> I'm actually not kidding. If, if, no matter what it is, if it's healthy, I will do it. If it's going to have some sort of health benefit, I will do it. So I started to do a little bit of research on coffee because I read that it was like one of the biggest sources of antioxidants in the American diet. And I thought, really? Because we've always heard that coffee's not that great for you, it's high in caffeine, it's addictive and all this kind of stuff. So I started doing research on coffee and I found that it's actually really, really good for you and there's a lot of benefits. So I started to buy coffee and I, I buy this kind because they test for um, different kinds of molds and that's really important. So you want to make sure you buy the right kind of coffee and you want to buy it in the whole bean form and grind it yourself. I like to grind it in, I already have a coffee grinder because I use it for spices. So it's a spice grinder slash coffee grinder. So I um, grind it fresh when I make it and then I bought myself a French press. And I, I've always wanted one of these and you can use it for tea as well, but I've been making coffee in it and it's really, really good. So coffee actually contains small amounts of B vitamins. So, you know, it's not going to be a major source, but uh, it does have some nutrition in it. It has uh, vitamin B2, B5, it's got manganese, potassium, magnesium, and vitamin B3. So I thought that was kind of interesting. And the second thing is that it may lower your risk for type 2 diabetes. Studies have shown that people who drink um, the most coffee have 25 to 50% lower risk of getting diabetes. And the next benefit that it's got is that it may help protect you from Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is actually, I, I fear it because it runs in my family. My grandmother died from it, a lot of her siblings died from it, so dementia, Alzheimer's, you know, really runs in my family and I'm actually really, really afraid of it. So I found that coffee can actually lower your incidence of Alzheimer's disease by as much as 60%, so I thought that was really interesting. And it also lowers your risk for Parkinson's. Now my sister-in-law has Parkinson's. I don't know if she's a coffee drinker, but um, it actually can lower your risk for Parkinson's disease as well. And the most interesting thing that I found is that it can lower your risk for certain types of cancer. It can lower your risk for endometrial cancer, liver cancer, and colon cancer. So I thought that was really interesting. And then they also found that a lot of people who drink coffee actually, in general, live, live longer. My mother-in-law is actually 90 years old and she's a huge coffee drinker. And of course that's just an anecdote, but you know, I thought that was interesting that, you know, it actually helps people live longer in general. And like I said at the beginning of the video, it's one of the biggest sources of antioxidants found in our diet. This one study showed that people get more antioxidants from their coffee than from fruits and vegetables, and that coffee may be one of the healthiest beverages on the planet. So anyway, I really have started to drink coffee, um, and I never thought I would because it's got caffeine. I mean, you can get decaffeinated coffee, of course, but uh, a lot of people, you know, have problems with caffeine, you know, if they drink caffeinated coffee. So if you do decide to drink coffee with caffeine, drink it in the morning. I, I never drink it past, you know, like 10 a.m. because I don't, I suffer from insomnia and I don't want any sort of caffeine to cause any problems with sleep. So if you're not a coffee drinker, give it a try. Do some research on it. Make sure you buy the right kind of coffee. Make sure it's organic and that the company tests for molds and, uh, you know, grind it fresh. That's important as well. I don't I don't buy freeze-dried coffee or already ground coffee. Make sure you 
grind it fresh right before you make uh, your cup of coffee. And I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.